So I just want to briefly show what I contributed to within this technology tools organizer and this Prezi tool. I was on these three things over here, Serious Games, Web 1.0, Mobile M Learning Technologies. If I just start here with that M Learning, I focus on these two ones at the bottom here, Top Tracer and Nearpod. What I thought was great with um, the hierarchy within Prezi is that I, I could add these little bubbles to the side that weren't distracted from others. And this is what I was interested in. And I dropped my comments in here why it's... Uh, why this top tracer technology is mobile and disruptive. Um, and then questioning over, questioning over here whether it was um, a game or is it e-learning or is it m-learning or, or what is it? Um, I thought that was an important distinction to make and that was mentioned in that point there. I looked at it from a learner point of view at the benefits for teacher and, and then some comparison to other tools because I was interested in the affordances that Nearpod offered compared to other tools like OneNote. So again, it was good to be able to use the hierarchy affordance within Prezi, which are other presentation tools I don't think have offer quite as well. Oh, one other thing with the serious games to mention was that I had this question bit over here where I, I was really trying to question the purpose of games and the considering the learning cycle and the conversation framework and the learning concept mapping that the Lanaka declaration mentioned so many of those things I was considering here in terms of this part here how games could fit within a learning cycle that this was quite an important learning thing for me um, and it related to podcasts and blogs as well with the Web 1.0 3. to, to 3.0 I just did these two here this was a video an example of Web 3 a video about 3.0 and then a 1.0 case study and then this again was important to me down here where I was able to consider the relevance. For me it, it was not very relevant and the SAMA model was a much better model. But even that was interesting for me because it was considering how you classify tools and what classifications you use. And I thought this was a really important and, and good learning for me was how thinking about how tools are classified and then, that can, then you can think about how the learner was going to use them, how educators might use them to design learning interventions.